I have a special surprise for you. No, not the thrift store right there, although that is full of surprises. Uh, we're meeting someone who I think you might know. We're going to hop in there, find some hidden treasures, uh, and talk about resale business on a much larger scale than most people perform it. There he is. There he is. I'm sure you've uh, watched his stuff. 191,000 subscribers. Nobody likes my stuff. I lost like 1,000 subscribers today. <laughs> today is in like next week when the video I'm yeah. filming today comes Hey, out. My, my channel, I say it's in dormancy. I've been in dormancy for years now too, so it's a good club. We're, you know, mm -hmm. I, I, when I tell people, I say, you are probably the first generation of resellers on YouTube, and I think I'm the second. It's like you, college picker, bona fide hustler, and raking profits were like people that people watch and then you know it's all been downhill since then <laughs> craigslist hunter i'd put in that yes yes he yeah around, he started well, he like has, within he, a month of me he hasn't failed yet though <laughs> <laughs> that is true all right well here we are um we have to challenge ourselves with something to make you know to raise the stakes so how about nothing under under 50 bucks profit okay that's the goal so john had a crazy few days you're from Green Bay. Mm -hmm. When did you leave Green Bay? Sunday at 4 a.m. And today is Tuesday, Tuesday at 4? Sure. Yeah, so tell, tell us your route. So Sunday morning, I flew from Green Bay to Atlanta for a pallet auction, which was Monday morning. So I just kind of tooled around Sunday, went to the auction Monday morning, then went straight to the airport, and that was yesterday. Flew here to Detroit, and I'm here today and tomorrow uh, for a friend's liquidation store opening. What's it, what, shout it out. Uh, a Michigan trading company, MTC Online Auctions, is doing liquidation sales. I'll have to do a video with, there. Yeah. If you're familiar with my sales, you'll, you'll recognize his. It's a very similar concept. Cool. So these look like to be some Nike dead stock uh, roller skates. There's three of them. John, John grabbed one. Right, so <laughs> I grabbed one. I'm gonna grab the other. You know, what do you get started? Old Nike roller skate wheels. What do you think they're worth? They're at five bucks. I bet they go for twenty-five bucks a piece. I, I bet there's not gonna be any listings, and it's one of those where you create your own price. Well, we can control the market then. Looks like we've got one more right. Oh my god! You snake. Well, now we're even. John, how many employees do you have? I have got two full-time and one part-time. And I had another part-time, but he walked out, high school kid, uh, during, the, not the last sale, but the one before that. Was it just too much for him? Uh, no, it's just 17-year-old being a 17-year-old. Uh, His dad was not happy with him for doing that. <laughs> what do you think the, like, the hardest part about finding, because I've tried three times to hire good people and I just can't find good people have to pay them if you can go and wash dishes for 15 bucks an hour or cashier at a gas station for 18 bucks an hour for a skilled job where you need to have some common sense like selling on ebay you have to be paying above market for it yeah i, I was going through staffing companies initially and then i hired my brother and his friends and then i hired somebody from um facebook and all three times just like ended up being uh, net loss, mm -hmm. let's put it that way. <laughs> so one of the things I'm always doing is looking for old books. I love selling old books, and I found a few worth looking up. So this one right here, Rejuvenation, uh, I think it'll go for about 20 bucks. Um, and I'm gonna go through these, like the fabulous, fabulous Greeks, Onassis, and there. I'm just gonna look these up on eBay. Um, and if there's traction at like 10, 50, uh, 20 bucks, I'm only buying them for 50 cents. And uh, they're very easy to store, very easy to list. Very easy to ship. There he is in the wild, looking for the uh, stuff he can fit in his carry-on. So as we're talking about the struggles of being business owners, I looked down into the plush pile and I found a Build-A-Bear Elmo. So I'm not sure if it's worth anything, but definitely, you know, Build-A-Bear is a keyword I look up and Elmo is a good keyword for plush stuff. So we'll see if uh, I think uh, three bucks, how much it goes for. What's next for your business? I don't know. Just stay the course. Keep going with the warehouse sales, the eBay. Are you growing every every year or are you kind of like at a plateau? I think we're seeing growth. It seems to be less growth, but I'm really excited for the Christmas warehouse sale because after seeing how things went in the last one, I've been spending all year preparing for it. Ooh, it's gonna be a good video? Mm-hmm. Oh, you hear it here first. Unfortunately, I think we failed finding anything over 50 bucks. 
This is what I've got right in here. Probably, well, those are his, but mine is right here. I would say probably 200 bucks total. You know, I'm gonna spend 15 bucks on it, so I don't know. <laughs> not not the best. <laughs> so uh, maybe we're gonna go somewhere else. We'll have to try another store. Yeah, we're gonna see if there are greener pastures. We were checking out and we saw this. Cat's Mouth Birdhouse with no maker's mark. Oh, there is a maker's mark. Oh, is there? R. Van, Van Dammel, 1998. My guess is this goes for at least 45 bucks because it's definitely handmade. There's a little bit of imperfections on it, uh, but it's cool. It's funny. Without the maker's mark, that's the closest I can find. Yeah. Oh, 40 for that, so yeah. What do they want for it? 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it at the shelf. I would pay 20 just to have it myself yeah. if I could get it home. Well, you know, you got carry on, right? <laughs> my both my carry-ons are full. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, friend, you stay here, but we're at the Walled Lake Salvation Army, and it's gonna be there for you. All right, here's our uh, second stop of the day. And uh John, you mind recent you just told me in that second parking lot about where you went to college because I think a lot of folks might find that interesting. I did not go to college. Oh, you didn't? I did oh, not finish oh, high school. Oh, oh, you didn't? I have a GED. And a seventh grade education. Mm -hmm. And a girlfriend who's about to get her master's degree, so combined we'll each have one college degree. <laughs> it evens out then. Mm -hmm. What's she get her degree in? Uh, engineering management. Oh, wow. Nice. So you got, you, uh, you know, you know how to surround yourself with intelligent, successful people. Mm -hmm. At least one intelligent, successful person. <laughs> what she's doing with me, I have no idea. Well, you're the money. <laughs> I am neither intelligent nor successful. Oh, come on. Your company's doing pretty good. I do all right. Let's see if we can do all right inside there. This portion of the video was copyright claim because there's a share song playing in the Goodwill uh, at like 1,200 decibels. It blew out our eardrums. I couldn't get it out of there. What I'm showing you is cultured ivory. It's a figurine. Part of the face is missing off of this, so I didn't buy it. It goes for about 40 bucks. Uh, but cultured ivory is not real ivory. It's just plaster that's meant to look like ivory, uh, kind of a facade. It's cool, it's interesting. The kind of thing that you wanna know when you're making listings. Sorry, there's no background music, but uh, you can thank Cher for this that. This thing that John just found looks amazing. So we saw it to perch her like wall this, eyes. and I rotated to get the maker's mark, and we saw the the innards. That's a perch, right? I don't know fish. I think I might need to get this and have you ship it to me. Yeah, that's so cool. And it is thirteen $13. bucks. That's so cool. I don't know if I want to sell it though. You shouldn't. You should keep it. I want to put it on my desk. I, I would keep that if I if I saw it. First. I feel like I need to keep it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's uh, an awesome find. So show us your fish. This is the coolest thing ever. Yeah, I'd say that's one of the cooler thrift finds I've ever seen somebody pick up. There we go. This is gonna be the thumbnail. <laughs> cool, man. He's filleted. Yum. Want me to mail it to you? Yes, please. I guess text me your address and uh, yeah, say it right here in the video so everybody knows where you live. Of my, all of my. Yeah, yeah.